Hello everybody, Abed's brother here, and today we're going to be taking a, another look at the performance of Assassin's Creed Unity on the Intel Arc A770. Um, when I played this, tried this out a year ago, when I originally owned Intel Arc, uh, in, Intel had just dropped their one their driver that did a big fix on Assassin's Creed Unity, and I was like, well, I I don't I see some uh, improvements in the managing of like reflections and such, but I didn't actually see much improvement to frame rate, and I said so at the time, and um, I didn't get a ton of, like, pushback on that, but I definitely got some downvotes on that video, so um, hopefully we're going to see some, some actual improvement here this time. And I expect we will, because I've actually already taken a run around Syndicate, which... Uh, Unity is just kind of a weird game to me. Uh, I I never real I didn't like the the new sword fighting. I didn't like the new parkour. Uh, and I know their Unity has its fans who are like, oh, it's the best parkour ever. It's way too sticky, and it makes does not make it fun to play the game. At least not to me. Uh, so graphics. We're at 3440 by 1440. Graphics quality is custom. High environment, ultra high textures, high shadows, SSAO, FXAA on the anti aliasing. And continue. But now, when I tested this, I have a video on this of Assassin's Creed Unity on my 5700 XT, and in that one, I used. Um, Radeon exclusive uh, morphological filtering as additional anti-aliasing over the top of FXAA and it really I'm not a big fan of morphological filtering but it really cleaned the picture up in that case. Now V-Sync is on I think. I want to turn that off. Yes it is. Apply. Okay so we should be yeah, we are maxed out. And one of the places where I always had frame dips was going into the cafe, so we're going to do that right now. And the problem with cafe was mostly, not entirely, but it was mostly CPU. Because the last time I tested this, I had, uh, when I tested it last year, I had an i7-11700, which was basically running overclocked. Um, now I have a Ryzen uh, 5950X, which is, you know, wipes the floor with the 11700. And we're still dipping under 60 here. But the 5950X is, the CPU is clocking fairly high for all core. It was just hitting uh, 4.5, 4.5 all core, which to me is uh, pretty impressive. But we were dipping there, so we're still getting frame dips, even with uh, the new CPU and the updated drivers. How do you climb? I'm actually in the middle of playing Assassin's Creed Mirage right now, so I'm used to those controls, and any controls that cross over, I will be good with, but I'm not entirely sure how many of them do. So it looks good, but uh, it almost seems like, and it, this is where I've seen people say there's an architecture problem. I think this is, Unity is the one where they introduce climbing down. Hold C to higher display game HUD. That's not what I want. I want to climb down. Okay. Let go. Okay. I almost think it's an architecture problem because it seems like whenever there's a ton of stuff to display on screen, the utilization dips, which means the GPU can't be fully occupied, which... Uh, However, they're channeling the flow of data in the actual GPU core structure, to me, means there's a bottleneck in the actual, um, right in the actual structure. You knew this was 
the actual uh, core architecture. And from some of the things I've watched, they just uh, had Computex and Intel did a presentation on Battle Mage, which is uh, on the way, supposedly. And uh, it seems like they're aware of this, and they're try they've are they been able to get around as much as they can with drivers, but there's things they're fixing in Battle Mage that are, seem directed at improving uh, core occupancy. I'm not sure if I'm going to get Battle Mage or not. It's, uh, it's a question that I have. You know, for now, here, here's a question, okay? This is something I've been thinking about for a while. If you're going to sit down and you want to play games for two hours a week, and, you know, and the games that I have run well on the A770, why would I need to get Battle Mage? You know, like, I want to go back. I want to replay the original Assassin's Creed. I want to replay Assassin's Creed Unity. I have not played Unity since it came out. Well, two years after it came out, I got it on discount uh, two years later. So that would have been about 2016, I think. I haven't played it since then. And I would like to go back and revisit it. And it runs well. Now, it runs passably on Intel Arc, so why would I want to get Battle Mage? Except for maybe some higher settings? I mean, dipping to 50 in the cafe is not something that I would like to see happen, but it's not a deal breaker for me. You know, or may I just took another run through Fallout 4. Fallout 4 runs great on Intel Arc. So again, why would I need to get Battle Mage? It's just something that that a question that has occupied my mind. Like if you're going if you have the games you like to play and they play well, then what do you need a new GPU for? Except to have the latest. And I'm very much uh, a person who who likes to get the most out of what they have instead of chasing the latest. Um but if I get Battle Mage, you know, I might be able to run Forspoken without needing to get to turn on XCSS. And I really don't like upscaling. I think upscaling is a crutch for when the GPU can't really perform. Uh, oh no. Oh no, I have to do this combat. <laughs> I got him. What about you? Ah! I was getting sh Oh, there was a sniper up there. I didn't even see him. Well, that's uh, Assassin's Creed Unity on the RK770. Uh, playable, still has frame drops. That seems to be a common, common theme that's happening now, is that it's a lot more playable now, but the frames are still dropping. And this time, there is no CPU bottleneck. This is just how ARC performs at this point. Hope this video was useful to you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up, and thanks for watching.